Part 2, Question 2, Chapter 1, The Remedies Prescribed by the Holy Church Against Incubus and Succubus Devils. In the foregoing chapters on the first question, we have treated of the methods of bewitching men, animals, and the fruits of the earth, and especially the behavior of witches in their own persons, how they seduce young girls in order to increase their numbers, what is their method of profession and of offering homage, how they offer to devils their own children and the children of others, and how they are transported from place to place. Now, I say there is no remedy for such practices unless witches be entirely eradicated by the judges or at least punished as an example to all who may wish to imitate them. But we are not immediately treating of this point, which will be dealt with in the last part of this work, where we set forth the twenty ways of proceeding against and sentencing witches. For the present, we are concerned only with the remedies against the injuries which they inflict, and first how men who are bewitched can be cured, secondly, beasts, and thirdly, how the fruits of the earth may be secured from blight or phylloxera. With regard to the bewitchment of human beings by means of incubus and succubus devils, it is to be noted that this can happen in three ways. First, when women voluntarily prostitute themselves to incubus devils. Secondly, when men have connection with succubus devils, yet it does not appear that men thus devilishly fornicate with the same full degree of culpability, for men, being by nature intellectually stronger than women, are more apt to abhor such practices.